Okay, hello everyone. I hope you're all keeping yourselves safe and healthy. I offered to give some feedback on Microsoft Teams versus Google Classroom based on my 18 months experience in using Google Classroom as an educator and my two week experience in helping my daughter with her online learning using Teams. I'm going to take this opportunity to also give you some feedback on the way Teams and then <clears throat> OneNote were introduced to grade one, uh, grade three students, sorry, and how this could have been done better. Now, I will start with a conclusion. Both platforms are good. I entirely agree with these ratings based on these 161 reviews for Google Classroom and 442 reviews for Teams. And as you can see, the average score was 8.6 out of 10 for Google Classroom and 8.3 out of 10 for Microsoft Teams. Now, I personally prefer Google Classroom for the simple reason that, as you will see in a minute, of the, of the availability of such apps as Jamboard, for example here, which makes class discussion that much more colourful and interesting from a student's point of view. As I will show you in a minute, let me just grab this uh, class discussion on SEIA, my marketing e-class. As you can see, the students were able to post their comments and then when they were asked to present or when in class the instructor needed to highlight something or mix and match in any way at all you can see how <clears throat> it did it that makes it that much more interesting and that Therefore, the students I found are that much more engaged. Now, the, let me now get out of um, Jamboard and go to the Google Meet. So this is the Google Meet um, interface, which, uh, as you know, allows uh, teleconferencing. Uh, and it enables the teacher or the student to present and show PowerPoint slides very, very easily while maintaining visual and audio contact with all the members of the audience. And I have found the sound and video quality to be exceptionally good. In my daughter's and my experience, team often seems to be slower to to, um, as you will see in a minute, to load, to respond, and so please bear with me. And then, in my opinion, somehow the interface is not as intuitive as Google Classrooms. The advantage, of course, is that almost everything is on one page. And that's the key advantage of Microsoft Teams. Now, in observing some of Norani's lessons over two weeks, I cannot say that um, <clears throat> the quality, sound and picture quality uh, with Teams is as high. But this is possibly because of the internet service or the quality of the built-in camera of the teachers when they teach from home. At the end of the day, however, a hammer is only as good as the skill of the craftsman. But on the other hand, how easily and how well an apprentice can learn a craft from his master depends, of course, on his own hard work, but also on how, how patient and how skilled the teacher is as well. In my opinion, if a teacher is prepared to take a softly, softly approach, 
as opposed to a <clears throat> sink or swim approach, almost all of the apprentices are likely to be able to follow regardless of their ability. The key is to learn how to put oneself in the shoes of the lowest common denominator. In this regard, I recall Mr. Hill's response when I mentioned to him that Teams has an assignments feature. His reply, I don't want to overload or confuse the students right now. In my opinion, this is the right attitude. In contrast, when students are expected to learn an additional app such as OneNote, simply by watching two 30-minute videos necessitating the simultaneous use of two devices, for example, two laptops in my daughter's case, then at least one student is likely to end up <coughs> floundering, causing unnecessary stress on both the student and at least one of her parents. In a nutshell, it's not so much that one platform is better than the other. Each has its fans. Okay, and I understand that obviously SCIA <clears throat> probably found it convenient and cheaper to adopt Teams. But it's more to do, in my opinion, how each platform is introduced to novices and how much support each student receives. In my opinion, when Teams was introduced on Monday the 30th of March to Grade 3 students, instead of a sink or swim approach adopted at 8 in the morning, there should have been some kind of online tutorial YouTube videos to give students the chance to practice before they were thrown into the le their lessons on Teams immediately. Afterwards, there should have been some kind of hotline chat line to provide technical support instead of relying on parents to become all of a sudden experts in online learning platforms. I apologize for my usual candor, but many Singaporeans told me that straight talk is one distinguishing quality of Singaporeans. So I hope you will forgive me for my candor. Thank you.